TGS Presents, Assassin's Creed Origins. Send new flight from the top left corner of the map to the bottom right. Uh, basically the furthest distance I could get with a marker. We should unlock the achievement free as a bird during this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to show you on the map where we're at. We're all the way up here, honestly outside of the region. But it allows me to go back this far. So we're just going to work with it. We're going to fly directly across all this land as straight as possible towards our destination right down here. So I'm not exactly sure what we'll go over, but you can consider this kind of a uh, Senu tour. We're just going to go directly across the entire map straight down approximately 13,510 meters. There's a possibility you'll see me place videos up of this of doing this by boat and by horse. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get this started. I'm going to be using boost the whole time as well. Make sure I'm aligned with our target as best possible. You can see ton of animals over there. There's a town. Tons and tons of map out here. It's pretty sweet. See on right, one of the uh, major cities up here. To show you what else is around there is that down there and let's go back to what's nice to look at look at this this town looks pretty awesome from the sky you won't get here to a higher level unless you wander here uh, the bird apparently will handle its height I guess for me oh here we go so we're going to do a quick, quick, steep incline really fast. Get them up really high so we don't have to worry about the mountains and whatnot. So here we go. Look at that view. We can actually see inside of the, uh, the Coliseum or Stadium, however you want to call it. It's not Rome, but still, it's basically a Coliseum. Well, peace out to that uh, nice looking city. We are heading out yonder. Inland. Got some farms over here and some random animals. All over the place. Alright, we got him up to height. We should be okay crossing over. There's a lot of markers all over the place. It's ridiculous. So many animals up here on the mountaintop. It only knocked out 2,000 meters in like 4 minutes, so uh... An approximation is that this is going to take about a little bit over 20 minutes to complete. I'm trying to just uh, look around, enjoy the views. You can see some major sand uh, dunes over there. They're pretty crazy. Down below, we have another small town coming up. So another sandy area over there, but it ain't no uh, crazy dunes like it is over there. I mean, look at that. That is the true desert.
But look down, flying over, there's like one major building here and then a bunch of small homes. Not a very big town. It's one of those towns where everyone knows your name. <laughs> There's some mullah over there. Too bad we're on this uh, flight. You can see the pyramids in the background over there. Not sure. Is that Alexandria over there? I think that's Alexandria. You see the tower in the background in the city to the right of it from our perspective. I'm pretty sure that's Alexandria back there. We can't see the hippodrome, I don't think. It might be too far away. Actually, it might be right out there. You can see like the water out far, straight back, but basically it's right uh, east to Alexandria. So I think it's that building just sitting out there, kind of a little bit further out from the town, if you see that. Decently big. We are working our way down. Right now we're just over a major desert area. Senu is just enjoying his flight. He peaced out. He was like, peace out, Bayek. I ain't chilling with you no more. And then myself a new home across the entire map. There's the sand dunes from a different angle. Pretty epic area. Is that Siwa right there? I think that's Siwa, down in there, Siwa Oasis, because I know the uh, the sand dunes are right across from it and the mountains are right behind it. Over here I believe is possibly, I'm not sure if this is the tallest mountain or not, but it, this is possibly it. Straight ahead, the one I'm looking at right here. Quite a long flight. We're about not even halfway done this in uh, eight minutes. Wondering what else we'll see on this isolated desert. We're just going right down here. This is a big canyon right here. We're about to pull up on some port towns down here. Uh, there's Alexandria in the background where I'm aiming right now. Soon enough it'll be out of view. Alright, we just crossed into the Black Desert. So yes, this is the tallest mountain right here on the right in the game that you can climb. It is pretty insane. Very tall. Uh, we're going to descend a little bit to try and get a better perspective. Alright, now that I know how much it goes down. So we're going to go about right here. It didn't seem like it wanted me to go much lower for some reason right there. Don't believe we're going to have any high mountains like the ones uh, we're crossing now further down. So we shouldn't have to worry about height on the rest of this flight. Here we go. Well, tell me the name of the town. I guess now just tell me the distance. I believe we may be down in Fayum right now. This looks very much so like Fayum. I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, we're officially over halfway done. 
my flight tour, corner to corner of the map. You can pretty much see most of the land of the map up here. Uh, like you see the desert out there. This pretty much covers everything. All the uh, land that you can access. Uh, you can still see Alexandria back there. Jeez. We are pretty far down from Alexandria. That shows you how far you can see. There's one of the towns down here right there. Another one over there in the distance. They're not very far away from each other. Good for trade. This town's over here across, so they just use some boats and they won't have an issue with trade either. I think this is one of the bigger towns of Fayum right here. The bottom right. If I do this by boat and or horse in the future, it's going to be one heck of an adventure. I was going to try to use the autopilot on the horse and see if it'll take me down the roads to get to where I got to go. Not sure if it'd even work at 13,000 meters. And uh, on boat, you'd have to use the channel that passes down the right portion of the map because otherwise you wouldn't be able to make it and do some crossing on land. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty large map as you can tell and even with a boost on on this bird it is taking quite some time to cross it 12 minutes to get two-thirds done so we're gonna have like another six minutes in this before we hit our destination But uh, here's Crocodilopolis, I'm pretty sure. So I do know where we're at. Over there is the desert. Bye, Fayum. It was nice seeing you. You guys gotta stop polluting down there. Jeez. Lots of crocs down here in Fayum, as you can tell. They're everywhere. All down the channels. Pretty sure that, yeah, this is Crocodilopolis. We're about to fly over. There's the arena. This is one of the major cities in the game. There's the Falake dude. He's working, apparently, hunting me down, because that's his work. <laughs> I'm spying on you, Falake. I know where you're at in Crocodilopolis. You have quite a view up here. That is for sure. Uh, I think it's time for a dive. A little bit at least. Not too insane down. This is good enough. Another note, it's pretty crazy that you can actually cross this much amount of map with the bird. You can literally go across the whole map, you can hunt down whatever you need. Just increase the perception by doing viewpoints. I don't even, I have like a th one fifth of the viewpoints or something like that. And my perception is pretty good already, so I can't imagine if you get it all the way up. But as you can see, we're kind of leaving that area. Where Crocodilopolis is. I think it's like the southernmost large city. Over there are some mountains we can't go to. And here we go, the final stretch. We're heading down here into the desert. My marker is right near where the edge of the map will be. We're going to fly till we see the edge of the map and then that'll be it. We just located... Uh, the elephants for an achievement 
You have to come down here and fight these two elephants for an achievement. Uh, that's pretty epic that we just found them flying here. I'm pretty sure that's them because you have to kill both of them. And I think the other places that you can kill elephants only have one. I will be back for you guys for that achievement. But I recommend being level 40 to make it as uh, easy as possible because I heard it's pretty insane. But my first elephant encounter wasn't too bad. I didn't die. I just kicked its butt. So it worked out. Alright, we are 700 meters away from completing this top left corner to top to uh, bottom right corner of the map trip. Basically the northwestern to the uh, southeastern of the map. The corners, and uh, we're almost there. I'm just going to keep flying out in this direction because the, uh, the end of the wall should be here in the sand dune region. They go pretty far back, but we can't go all the way back there. There's a limit somewhere right around here. Once we hit that limit, that'll basically be the end of the video. So we're going to keep flying. Eventually it should show me a wall that I can't go beyond. Oh, here it is. Wamboosh, there you have it. 17 minutes minus the intro to get there. Uh, so, under 17 minutes to complete corner to corner. Again, we went from all the way up here, where I'm standing right now. Bayek is still at the northwestern uh, portion of the map. And we flew all the way across the map down, all the way down, to the Deseret Desert down in this corner, the furthest point I could find uh, meter wise and that's that, hope you enjoyed would appreciate it if you like and subscribe